An MEP has accused arch-Europhile Guy Verhofstadt of trying to create a United States of Europe, with citizens across the bloc urged to be wary of Brussels' latest project. Mr. Verhofstadt, a Belgian MEP and former leader of the EU Brexit steering group, has been criticized by Swedish MEP Charlie Wiemers, who argued he would do whatever possible to give more power to Brussels' elites. Mr. Verhofstadt is one of the chairs of the Conference on the Future of Europe, which Mr. Wiemers said is being used to accelerate his aim. The Sweden Democrats MEP told Express the mere fact Mr. Verhofstadt had been put in charge of the one-year-long event was the ultimate proof it will serve as a trampoline for those who advocate for the creation of a United States of Europe. He said, I think it says about everything that Guy Verhofstadt is one of the leading figures of this conference. It's the ultimate proof that the key goal of this conference is to transfer more power to Brussels. He is the most well-known, the most fanatic advocate of the United States of Europe. That's why I find a historical connection with the European Convention on the Future of the European Union 20 years ago with Giscard d'Estaing as the chair then, basically steering that convention the way he wanted to. And if you look at what Guy Verhofstadt is saying, he's already talking about making it easier to recruit people to be part of a political class in Brussels to be above other European citizens. To loosen the link between natural democracy and the power in Brussels. That's him, so I'm grateful for colleagues posing questions on his role. On Tuesday, Italian League MEP Marco Zanni also raised questions over Mr. Verhofstadt's role at the conference. Mr. Zanni argued he and his colleagues in the European Parliament will be wary of the Belgian MEP's agenda in steering the conference in a direction that could see more integration in the bloc. Mr. Wiemers, who together with colleagues from Denmark and Finland asked the Commission to postpone the conference until after the resolution of the coronavirus pandemic, claimed his request was ignored and deemed not worthy of consideration. Dot. The Swedish politician teamed up with Danish People's Party MEP Peter Kofford and Laura Hutasari, True Finns MEP, with a letter to their respective governments and citizens published in the Swedish daily Dagens Industry. The trio claimed their governments know that the citizens of their countries do not want to increase EU power further. 